What's up, my Squabians? Today we are talking about the number one fantasy sleeper in 2020. I've seen him as low as 27 on some lists. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. I put this guy in my top 10 of fantasy players I would go after this year. Everyone sleep on him. I have no idea why. Let's talk about it right now. But first, be sure to leave in that comment section below who your biggest fantasy sleeper is for 2020. Do you agree with my pick? We'll find out right now. Okay, the player that I believe is being absolutely slept on for fantasy this year had 1,500 yards from scrimmage last year, as well as 11 touchdowns, and that's when sharing the backfield with another player that is now in a different city. The player that's gone is Melvin Gordon, and the player that's staying, that's my sleeper, is Austin Eckler. I think this is a phenomenal player who now has a window of opportunity where he's going to be the bell cow back with an ability to catch the football as well. He had twice as many yards receiving last year as he had rushing as well. He only had 132 carries on the ground last year. So yes, he only had 560 yards on the ground. But for comparison, Chris Carson had over double the amount of carries last year and just about double the amount of yards. If you were to give Austin Eckler not even what Chris Carson got last year, but just double the amount of carries that he had, which is less than the amount of carries that Melvin Gordon had, so the ones that are going away, if he didn't even get all the reps from Melvin Gordon, he would have been on pace to have had 1,114 yards on the ground alone, plus his 990 yards in the air and almost 100 catches on the season such a tremendous effort from Austin Eckler he would have been on pace to have almost Christian McCaffrey type of numbers had he got the same amount of touches now Melvin Gordon is gone and he is in Denver Melvin Gordon had 162 carries last year took away eight touchdowns on the ground and had about 600 yards rushing well now that that's gone who's gonna fill in the load you, do you look to Justin Jackson in that backfield last year he had had half as many carries in half the games from year one to year two and no touchdowns. What does that mean? They're not loving their guy in Justin Jackson. Austin Eckler is clearly the guy in Los Angeles. The opportunity is there. He showed what he was capable of last season and people are still ranking him lower on charts than guys like Kenyon Drake. I think that's absolutely ridiculous. The Chargers added two offensive linemen this offseason as well in Trey Turner and Brian Balaga in their push to get Tom Brady and when you throw a rookie quarterback into the game, who instantly becomes their number one friend? Is it their number one wide receiver? No. Is it their tight end? No. Is it their offensive line? No. It's their running back. Why? Because when they drop back and they have to go through their reads and it's not automatic yet because they're a rookie quarterback in the NFL learning a new system, they tend to throw it to the guy that's closest to them, their check down option, their running back. Therefore, a running back is a quarterback's best friend, especially a rookie quarterback. Who did the Chargers just draft number six overall in this past draft? Justin Herbert. That's going to be his best friend. Austin Eckler, Justin Herbert is going to be a great pairing. Austin Eckler is going to be his check down. Let's not forget in the four games that Melvin Gordon was gone last year, Austin Eckler had over 100 yards per game, 490 total yards over those four games, and six touchdowns. He was on pace to have tremendous numbers on the season, but Melvin Gordon came back and took those reps away. This year, Melvin Gordon's not going to be there to take those reps. Justin Jackson wouldn't take the reps, even though he is going to be there. Justin Jackson isn't going to take those reps. Austin Eckler definitely is. Remember, the Chargers just extended him. Austin Eckler is no question my biggest fantasy sleeper of 2020. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe in this video. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about Austin Eckler as a fantasy sleeper and who your biggest fantasy sleeper in 2020 is going to be. As always, go Hawks.